Is starting an office cleaning business even worth it? I think so, and I'm gonna give you three reasons why it is the best business to start with, bar none. Coming up next. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mike Mack and I help people start and grow wildly profitable office cleaning businesses. And on this video, we're gonna talk about three reasons starting an office cleaning business is more than worth it and it's probably one of the best starter businesses in the world, bar none. I'm also at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a free bonus that if you're really interested in starting your office cleaning business, it is a great resource and then it's yours for free. But you're going to have to wait till the end to get it. But before we begin, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, hit the like button. Also, turn on that little bell somewhere. The reason why is because sometimes YouTube lets you know when there's new videos and sometimes it don't. But I put out new videos every Friday just like these, so you're not going to want to miss them. Okay, so before we get into the three reasons starting an office cleaning business is super duper the move, I just want to tell you this first. It was earlier this year and things are going really well for us. and the pandemic was starting to begin, as you know. <laughs> St school started closing, other businesses started closing, and we were, we were starting to get a little, little worried, not so much about us, but more about our employees. We were just nervous that if, if enough places shut down, we wouldn't be able to pay them through this time and they, they wouldn't be work. We'd have to lay them off. And that was the last thing we wanted because every one of our cleaners are absolute rock stars. And that's because we, that's exactly who we bring on board. And we don't want to lose any of them. Any one of them is too valuable. And I, you know, and I don't want any of our employees like hurting for money in any way. So because of those reasons, it, it, it was pretty scary. Then what happened in that time kind of blew my mind. 98% of our businesses stayed open. The only businesses that closed were our schools. And at that time, we were in the beginning we were very school heavy, but then months before, schools went from being like 90% of our volume to being less than 10% of our volume. When places started closing down, even during the stricter lockdown portion, outside of the schools, every one of our other accounts stayed open even if it was on a limited basis our dealerships stayed open so no they were they weren't able to like for our dealerships they weren't able to necessarily sell cars but the administrative people were still coming in every day to you know because they still have to be there daily they still have to carry out their you know their tasks um, the general manager was still there and the shop portion the shop portions of all dealership was still open i'm just giving you one example and because of that, we were able to stay open and constantly keep going and there was no hiccups. So you may be wondering, okay, well, wait, are you, were you still charging full price to do a lot, like a lot less work? The answer is kinda. We started picking up other tasks that weren't necessarily part of our day-to-day -day service. Let's say window washing was once, you know, once every six months built in started doing it monthly. Let's say doing the carpets was something that you just paid for on the side. We just included that. Let's say doing all like the, the not so um, high touch areas, but they're still touched frequently and it's maybe more of like a, hey, get it when you can, that became daily. Do you see things like that made it to where we not only didn't lose anybody, we're also able to give raises to our employees during this time as a, hey, we're in this with you and thank you for being awesome. That's, that's just a taste of why I swear by office cleaning businesses. So let's get into the three reasons starting office cleaning business is absolutely worth it and it's something you should check in on. Reason number one, it's basically a continuation of what we just talked about. It is COVID proof and recession proof. Oh, we touched on the COVID part. We touched on that part first, the pandemic, 
you know, while things were closing, we stayed open. The company, while most things were closing, 90, 98% of our business stayed open. And even if it was in a limited form, we bridged the gap to make it to where we didn't have to lose any money. We didn't lose any revenue. And now I also said recession proof. Recession proof is another one where I think it's really important. So let's say pandemic aside, if there was a recession and people were hi like hiring a lot less staff to stay open to get through a recession, I was told this years ago by a friend, no matter what, the office, the office cleaners will never be laid off. Why? And this is what he told me, because no matter what, attorneys will not clean their own toilets. I know it sounds, I know it sounds a little crazy and maybe you're an attorney, maybe you're the exception to the rule, but as a whole, top sales executives aren't going to be cleaning their bathrooms. They're not going to be washing the glass. They're not going to be taking out the trash. They'll always be room in the budget. It's just one of those things that uh, an office of size, not, I'm not talking tiny offices here, but like bigger offices, even if they have to lay people off, they have to lay a couple salespeople off, lay a couple other people off. I mean, this isn't ideal for anybody, but you still, they still will keep their office cleaners on, on payroll to make sure that their space is clean. This is a big, big deal. This is something that not a lot of businesses have. It is really that peace of mind of knowing that you are secure in the best of times, but also in the not so best of times. Okay, reason number two, or tip number two, I forgot how we're labeling it. Office cleaning businesses have recurring and predictable revenue. What is recurring revenue? If you don't know, recurring revenue is when month after month, no matter what, the same amount of money is deposited into your business account. That's recurring revenue. That's revenue that you can count on. And what's predictable, basically the same thing. I can tell you six months out what the company will be doing because it's predictable. I can predict that if I'm picking up two to three big clients per month or even nice size clients a month, I can tell you more or less, I can project what we're going to look like in a year. I could project two years out, three years out, five years out. Not a lot of businesses are able to do that. Uh, plenty are, sure, but this is one of those businesses that, you know, you can really build your life around this thing. Even if this isn't your dream, even if your dream is to not own an office cleaning business, you want to be in real estate, you want to do this, you want to do that, that's all fine. But starting with an office cleaning business gives you a great foundation. With this type of predictable income, you can leave your job and feel confident. You can go pursue bigger dreams and feel confident. Every month, I know exactly what's gonna be in the business account. I know exactly what our payroll numbers are. And then as you grow, it only gets better and better and better. This is one of the, the office cleaning is like the safest bet there is that I've at least found. And finally, the last reason is, well, in a nutshell, it's a low startup and it's a low overhead. So let's go on the startup first. I mean, it's pretty well documented. If you follow me, if you've been in my world at all that Jess and I started our current cleaning business with less than $300 in our account, the reason why that was so is because I left my job a little prematurely because I just hit a breaking point and tried to find another job, didn't work. So we took kind of like my last paycheck or what was left of my last paycheck, bought some groceries, some dog food, and then we were like, we're going all in because we're gonna make it happen or we're gonna die trying. We did make it happen and we did it, I think, really, really quick and and with the foresight I have now, I feel like I could look, I feel like going back, I could have did it even quicker or we could have done it even quicker knowing what we know now because there were mistakes made and we still did a good job. That's the beauty of it. Imagine getting to a point where you can look back and say, wow, you grew a multi six figure business with $300 in your account or even better. You were profitable inside 30 days or even better 
In 60 days, you replaced your income and your partner's income from your day jobs. This is what I'm talking about. This is why it's a fantastic business, especially to start off with. And what was the other thing? The other thing is overhead. Having a low overhead really helps a new entrepreneur or any entrepreneur, really. <laughs> it helps you grow your business and it helps keep your profit margins large, even with hiring. If you don't have to worry about paying the electric, if you don't have to worry about paying rent for your, you know, for your, your business, if you don't have to worry about paying the cable, the water bill, you don't need an office. You can run this from your house. Honestly, we ran it from one laptop. That's how we started this all. And now, obviously, things have grown, so it's a, it's a little different now. But at the time, $300 and a laptop. That's how we ran our business. And you want to talk equipment. Now we use professional vacuums with HEPA strength filters and all these other things. But in the beginning, it wasn't like that. In the beginning, it was literally, I'm going to go to Walmart and I'm going to buy a vacuum for 60 bucks and that's gonna be fine for a month or two. And that's what we did. We really, like, we should we should have that vacuum retired. Um, it, well, it's been retired, but we should like hang it up and frame it somewhere because it was wonderful. I mean, now our vacuums are obviously, again, professional, so they're more expensive, but at the time, a $60 vacuum was all it took. And what about solutions? I mean, you can buy solutions that are concentrated and, I mean, the initial investment, maybe another 40, 50 bucks. And that, that stuff alone can last you if you only have a couple accounts. That can last you six months, $40 worth of solutions. And then you may say, oh, what about the, the, the paper product? How are you going to wipe everything down? Well, we use microfibers and we color code the microfibers to make sure there's no cross contamination. Well, guess what? Not only does that make your clients happy, but it keeps your wallet happy because your bottom line is wonderful. <laughs> because your profit margins are great. Reusable, washable microfibers, concentrated solutions, inexpensive, inexpensive vacuum, inexpensive mop. These all keep profit margins extremely high. And that's why this is, again, another reason why this is an absolute game changer business. Okay, so in conclusion, there are actually more than three reasons to start an office cleaning business. There are more reasons why this business is worth it. I know I'm in love with it because of what it's done for my life. If you want to know more, if you're interested, I put two resources, and this is the bonus, I put two resources, not one, I over deliver. Two resources below this video. One is called Seven Reasons to Start an Office Cleaning Business. It's a mini ebook. It's a quick read. You can, you can you can read it over lunch. And it's gonna have these three included, but it's also gonna have four more reasons that you really should consider starting your own office cleaning business. As well, I have my three secrets to starting a hyper profitable office cleaning business with less than $300 without cleaning, without cleaning. That's a big one. That is also below. It is free to you. All you have to do is, well, you don't have to do anything because it's free. Well, I guess you have to download it. So I guess you do have to do something. <laughs> if you haven't already, subscribe for the video. Also like the video, comment if you have any questions. I'd be happy to get back to you. But we will do videos like this every single Friday. I will keep you informed on all things office cleaning business related. If you're interested in being a janitor entrepreneur, don't be shy. Join our Facebook group. It's called Zero to Seven Figures with an Office Cleaning Business. The link is also below for that. I'm afraid at this point, this is all I got. So I guess I'll see you next week. Peace out.